Rich Rappaport is the managing member and physician's assistant working at this urgent care center in Moorhead City. So bothersome because in December, Rich enrolled his company in the government's Affordable Care Act program. The government drafted $8,000 in premium costs, which was paid to Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. But there's just one problem. To date, um, today is I believe the 12th, we still don't have insurance. The coverage was paid to activate on January 1st, 2016, but that's not what happened. On January 4th of uh, 2016, one of my employees uh, attempted to utilize her insurance and was told she didn't have insurance. Upon further investigation, we found out that none of us have insurance. So far this month, Rich's staff has had to put their medical needs on the back burner. Their policies are non-existent. Office manager Debbie Wade needed a $200 prescription she must take every day after overcoming brain tumor surgery. We haven't had, we've not been able to get prescriptions. People had to cancel doctor's appointments. It's crazy. For Rich, the problem is both personal and professional. I have had multiple patients averaging somewhere around at least two a day who come in saying that they have insurance but they don't have their cards and, and the other places that have been have told them that they don't have insurance. While battling his own case with Blue Cross Blue Shield, Rich has decided to see patients with the same problem in good faith. Right now at Beach Care, if you need medical care and Blue Cross Blue Shield hasn't issued your insurance, you can still be seen and in the business office they will retrofile your insurance claim. We're expending overhead dollars in um, supplies and and um, keeping the business running, but we're not getting paid for the claims because of a clerical snafu. This week, President and CEO Brad Wilson recognized the issue and publicly apologized for the, quote, service challenge the company is facing. The following is what was issued. The difficulties that many of our customers who purchase their own health insurance face this week are unacceptable, and we are truly sorry for this experience. Several factors have come together to cause the backlog, including changing deadlines during open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act and our company's transition to a new customer service system. Despite the apology, I wanted to know what was going to happen to Rich, his eight employees, and his business. I talked with Lou Borman from BCBS, who had this to say. We're taking each case like Richie's one at a time. We're, we will be in touch with him and his business, and we'll make sure that he has gotten the coverage that, that he requested for his employees. Um, if, if there was a mistake, we'll make it right. What words would you have for them today? You know, I can't operate my business the way that they operate theirs. Uh, they operate with a complete uh, air of impunity. Anna Bolshevitz, News Channel 12.